Hello there, kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with a vlog because I'm fairly sick. I, um, <laughs> I was expecting it to hit uh, a while ago, and it did. Uh, I was, ironically, on my few days off, and uh, that was mildly annoying. Then I had been working the last couple of days in excessive amounts of cold. Um, I was dressed warmly enough for my body, but my face uh, has to be uncovered for me to hear customers and then also be able to talk to them. And it just hammered my face. It was just, it was all the wind that was the cold. I, I can usually handle cold just fine. It was just all in the wind, which is a lot more biting, especially when it's coming from like the north, eastern, and western direction. It kind of changed directions so much it was hard to figure out where to stay away from it. And considering it was all in the wind and the wind alone, and my face is the only uncovered thing, it just battered my face. And it just made it impossible to avoid, uh, unless I was inside, uh, because the direction was changing all the fucking time. It was mainly coming from the north, but it would change from uh, northeast to northwest, and just was generally unable to be avoided. And uh, there's only so much of that you can handle without face protection, and I'm not allowed face protection because I'm in a customer service oriented thing and they don't want you looking scary to the customers or some shit. I don't fucking... I don't fucking get it. One would think the health of your employees would matter more, but, you know, it's either or. Um, as it stands, on top of that, there's also some goings on with our staff. Um, that is kind of stressing me out, so it was kind of, you know, weighing on me and probably set me up to get sick in the first place, and the cold wind from yesterday in particular uh, screwed me up so much that the moment I got home, I just slept the day away. I uh, tried having some coffee to try and keep me awake, but it just wasn't enough. I just was flat out gone. I am um, feeling better now, but I had no time to record in all that time. Um, I'm recording this just before I have to start putting up videos. I do not have time to record and then edit and then put it up. So I just, I had one video uh, already set up. I was going to record a couple more. Uh, yesterday, but it just wasn't in the cards, so I'm uh, just apologizing A and B, letting you guys know that I'm going to sound not great in the coming in the coming episodes when I do have time to record, and I'm also going to be a little loopy. <laughs> I'm probably going to get some cold medicine while I'm at work. Uh, thankfully, we at least have some. I had the foresight of bringing some down uh, a while back to uh, sell as a little cold and flu and general geek uh, section in the fuel station. So there was that. Um, now the benefits of being manager. Uh, So, yeah, that's a whole bunch of shit that I figured I should let you guys know and not have just an empty spot in my usual schedule of, oh, well, why don't you have a second video up? Uh, just because I feel like shit <laughs> and I didn't want to be a shithead and leave it empty. So, yeah, there's that. Just to get a little bit into why there's problems in the first place with the crew, uh, there is a uh, member of the crew who he has a development disability or something to that effect. I never really got particular details, nor did I really care to. 
Um, as long as he was willing and able to work, I was willing to put him to work. Um, but there was certain benefits that come uh, his way to try and help alleviate that burden on his family. And uh, apparently at some point the state decided he was making too much money, even though we were complying with what the state requires. Uh, because the U.S. is fucking stupid and you have to work within limits to be considered uh, disabled and needing help. Um, he is perfectly capable of working, uh, but there is some things that he kind of struggles at. Um, we've had no problems. It's just mainly clarifying stuff that um, he might not have been thoroughly trained for and he's working his way around that's typical for most new hires and he's been working phenomenally uh since he got transferred down to the fuel station he does great work and quite frankly i'm glad to have him on the crew but apparently uh the state doesn't want to help cover some of the benefits costs for his parents um i'm, I'm not to not to say that his parents aren't well off, they very much are, um, but it's mainly to help him along with other members of the family uh, who they have adopted. He's an adopted child and a good portion of this uh, family's kids are. Apparently at some point the state decided he was getting too much money and that he just doesn't qualify for the benefits he used to anymore. Or something to that effect I'm not entirely sure apparently the courts at some point decided either he has to pay his parents back $500 for that or he has to cut his hours back significantly um, by significantly he's already at 16 he had to cut it down another four to bring it to about 12 hours now um, he like I said, he works 16 hours a week. He's not allowed anything further, so he doesn't have that much throwaway money anyway. So that kind of was a blow to him uh, if he did that route. So instead, he decided to go with the uh, constricting his hours because that was an option given to him. Unfortunately, for our work, that doesn't really translate well um, typically to get the most out of the time that we're allowed on our shifts uh, we do the five eights just to cover as much as possible and for him it'd be two eights because of the hour constrictions now with him now being cut back I would have to give him two sixes and that doesn't cover everything we needed to cover and some of the crew are not happy about it, but I have no choice. I have no choice. He has no choice. We kind of have to go with what the courts demand. So that doesn't help either and just progressively makes it harder for everyone. But to be fair, it was either cut his days back slightly or have one full day where he's working uh, the full shift and then have him do a half shift which would only cause more problems doing that so it's better off just not even bothering with that so there's that um, it is a little tiring to try and handle changes to the schedule when generally retail service is a hellish landscape for scheduling already and admittedly while I do understand the scope of the law and what it's trying to help it does make it difficult when literally everything and ev <laughs> anything can change uh, out of nowhere and there's only so much I can do at a certain point, it's mainly on the employee, and sometimes they don't want to bother. Uh, in this case, he was very much trying to make sure that it wasn't leaving the burden on me, but I there's only so much I can do, 
and sometimes other people don't like it. I've learned to live with it, but still, it does stress me out a little bit, which ended up contributing a bit to me falling sick, and uh, I've been fighting it off for almost a week now. Hopefully it's gone tomorrow, because <laughs> I don't think I can handle much more of it if it keeps up. So yeah, that's pretty much all the other bullshit in my neck of the woods that is contributing to me getting sick. And, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, very tired. <laughs> very tired and, uh, very, very, very not good. <laughs> so, uh, I'll probably be loopy on cold medicine the next time you hear from me. Uh, I will also probably not sound great. I don't really sound great right now. But, I mean, could be worse, right? Eh, could be worse. I think it could be worse. I could be dead. <laughs> anyway. Uh, also, I got, you know, in unrelated news, I got, uh, practice ammo for my, uh, 9 mil, so I'm really happy about that. Eventually, I'll go shooting, and maybe I'll record it, maybe not, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, it'll be in months from now, because... The, my usual shooting spot with my buddy is a uh, bit up in the mountains area, and uh, it is probably a winter wonderland right now, and that is not fun to be in at all, <laughs> especially when you're already sick. So, uh, trying to figure out how to end vlogs. Uh, been doing this and that for that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like this video and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. I don't know why you would. I feel like shit. <laughs> and I probably sound like shit. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Hopefully it's an actual game video. <laughs> and I will be loopy as shit. Alright. It's been the one the only stray cat doing vlogs and getting sick from bullshit that I constantly have to work through because that's what life as a manager is for you.